Welcome back to another episode of Let It Be Sustainable. Today I want to talk about, um, well, I finally got the bag for covering the seed pods to protect them from the rain. I got them last week, and that's what I've been doing all week, last week, was covering the seed pods with these little bags to protect them from the rain. Uh, someone commented about pulling the petals on the dahlias to protect them from rotting. Um, I just want to make it clear because I don't want to mislead anyone because this is a whole process. This is the whole reason behind these videos so that we can learn together. Um, I pull the petals once the centers are blown and then I go testing the back. If they come out, because it, they're supposed to fall naturally. Once the seeds are pollinated, then what should happen is that the dahlia should drop its petals. But because a lot of the um, ball dahlias, the decorative dahlias, the informal decoratives, and the cactus have tight knit petal formation, and a lot of them, they tend to hold on to their petals a lot longer. Whereas the single petaled open, open centered dahlias just drop their petals once the seeds are pollinated if they're not pollinated they tend to hold on to their petals too that's a little tip there uh because if if it's not pollinated then the reaction didn't take place and the petal won't fall off with the ball dahlias and the decorative dahlias that have multi layers of petals it's tighter so what I go around is I go testing them. And if, it, if it's tight, I don't pull it out because then I'm going to risk pulling the seed out with the petal. I wait until when I tug, it just literally just falls out. There, there's no effort. It just effortlessly just falls. It wants to fall out. It, and then I, when I pick it, it just falls right out. And that's what you do. Um, I'll get to that clip and show you how that looks like. Um, in fact, let's get to it. Okay, now I'm in the dahlia patch, and here I am putting the bags over the buds. So, it's been raining a lot, and I want to protect them from continuing to rot, because these buds face upwards, not like the single petaled ones that they face downwards, and then they get inundated with rainwater, see? And in order to prevent that from happening and from them from rotting, I have been putting on the bags. These aren't the bags that I initially wanted. I got them from another company. They're the kind of bags that you put, um, I guess, bakery goods on. They have like a wax coating. So they're waterproof. I didn't tie them down, but I think I'm going to staple them together a bit because I want I want air circulation to go through us that's why I didn't tie it because it I don't want it to retain moisture either I want the moisture to, to work its way out of the bag but also if the wind picks up uh, I don't want the bag flying away either but the point being is so that they get protected from moisture from the from the rain so if you look closely, they will be all over the garden right now where I want to save a seed pod. Um, I will put the link on where I got these. Um, you can get them on Amazon. They're called corn pollination bags to protect the, the pollen stalks from moisture. So that you can, I guess, pollinate the corn. <clears throat> but however, being that the dahlias are pods are facing upwards, their ability to hold moisture, they're more susceptible to it because they face up. They don't face downwards as they should. So, thrips aren't helping. Um, that's it for now, I believe. I will also put the video clip on 
what I meant about pulling the pedal. See, this is an open center already. I'll show you that in the front. <clears throat> but it's still, it's still too tight. It's not, it's not coming out yet. But see how, how that one came out easily? There's no seat attached to it. As it matures, it should be able to drop the seeds. That's how easy this one comes out. Beautiful. But this one here, that means that seed isn't mature yet. This one just came out easily. And that's what I'm talking about. As they mature, pull the petals out or else they will rot on the pod. And that's not helping you. So I'm gonna continue to put bags over my seed pods and I will put an update with the next video on how well the bags did. <clears throat> because if the bags aren't something that is going to be useful then I'm not going to use it this is my way of trying to protect the seed pods from additional moisture I want them to start drying out if they're about four to five weeks old already I will cut them and bring them in indoors to to mature but the, the thing is that once you cut it from the mother plant no additional seeds will mature whatever you have matured on the seed pod is what you will get. So you wanna be able to keep it on as long as possible so that those seeds mature and you have viable seeds. If taken too early, then the seeds will not mature indoors. You may get one or two seeds that are older because they were pollinated earlier. But those that were recently pollinated take a little longer to mature. That's why to try to leave it on the mother plant for at least four weeks, five weeks. If by that time, weather's getting really bad and your temperatures are gonna start to drop, then by all means, get what you can get cut them and bring them indoors to mature but if you can leave them on leave them on the longer they stay the more probability of you getting mature seeds now here's Seattle and she is still holding on to these petals. But the, the ones in the back, I pulled out already. So as those start maturing, I start pulling. Because I don't want this to rot. Like this one here, I'm gonna be putting a bag over because I already pulled the petals. Because the moisture level, see, is high because it faces up. And I want to be able to save seeds from this. So put in the bag should help me. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> Excuse me, how far I get, but you get the idea. I'm hoping that I can. I made it a little clearer as far as pulling the petals, and I will put the clip of that video with this one, so that I can make myself clear. I don't want to mislead anyone because I want you to guide you guys to get the most viable seeds possible. Look at this. This is Jesse G. Isn't this beautiful? Man, look at that. Look at that. It's absolutely perfect. Straight up. It is perfect. I'm definitely going to keep seeds from this one. I'm just hoping I get enough time because, my God, that's just beautiful. Well, anyway. All right. Let's get to the other clip. Okay, another example would be this one here that's getting pollinated right now. By this little bee. And now it's jumped over to apple blossom. Now, 
eventually it'll start to drop its leaf. See, the center isn't completely open yet. So those petals aren't ready to fall off. Whereas here, it's still, it's open, centered. You can see that, let me see if I can turn it a little bit better. See how the center's blown? At this point, if these petals haven't fallen off, I would start taking them out. Because this one has multi petals and it holds it on longer than the single one. Now, moving along, this ball dahlia is completely blown. See? And at this point, I start to pull out the petals. They really come off easily. Because you don't want to do this too soon. See? The bees are still pollinating this one. I'll wait, I'll wait till she's done. Now, the this one was one of my seedlings from this year. So, I was going to cull it. But I'm going to grow it on for another season. I am not saving the seeds on this one. Not doing it. But it is a perfect example of what I'm talking about as far as how easy they fall off. They should be falling off by themselves. And you don't want to pull them out too early. Because if you pull them out too early and they're tight, the seed is attached to to this. The seed will be attached to this. If you pull them out too early, then you're pulling out the seed. I don't know if this one has any seeds yet. But we'll check to see as I pull out. Let me see if there, yeah, there's some seeds in there. Let's see if we can focus on it. See it? See it there? Those are seeds. So as it matures it starts forming the seeds and the petals just kind of fall right out you don't have to do much if you pull and it's tight it's not ready it should just really pull right out this one's tight see i'm, I'm not that's still attached to a seed it's still attached so it's not coming out freely that one came out easily see there's nothing attached to it so that means it's forming a seed. This one is still attached. So as they mature, I start pulling out. If it's if it's too tight still, leave it be. It's not ready. And we'll get back to that when in a, in a couple of days. Um, there are instances like this single here didn't release its seeds. Most likely, it's because it's not, it wasn't pollinated. This doesn't have, it's too soft. I don't think this would have seeds. This is the only reason, see, it's, it looks like it's gonna rot away. It's gonna stop, this one's gonna rot. Oh, I wish I can focus on that. Oh, yeah. See, looks like this one's gonna rot. So that's why this one held onto its petals. It wasn't pollinated it could have been during the rainy seasons and the bees didn't visit it and it just passed the prime where it would be able to get pollinated so that's what I'm talking about here's another example of the singles it's been pollinated and it's gonna it's really gonna drop its petals it's just gonna fall right out you don't even have to try it they just fall right out and you can see them dropping their petals, like the one there. 
is dropping its petals. That means it's forming seeds. But don't pull them out too early. Wait till the sensors are blown and then just tug at it. If they fall out easily like that, they're good. But if you tug and it's still tight, don't pull it. I don't want to mislead anyone. Here's another example. It's still too tight. Still too tight. That means it's not ready. Another one. Too tight. But this one should just fall right out. I didn't have to do much effort. It did just fall right out. They want to fall out. Okay? They just want to fall out. Now, mind you, I'm not saving any seeds from this batch. This is just my experimental batch of the open pollinated seeds that came from Flower Fox Point Flower Farm. I bought seeds from her, and these were the outcomes. Uh, that was my seedling, my cross. Uh, but these I put in the front because I don't want them breeding with my ball dahlias that I have in the back. And again, if you pull and they're tight, they're not ready. If you tug and they fall right out, you're good. And that is how you start saving seeds. And it won't rot. <clears throat> so I hope that helps. I hope it was clear of what I'm trying to say when I mean pull the petals. This is also my seedling. Um, and I may keep seeds from this one because it's cross-pollinating with uh, apple blossom. So I'm curious to see what that's going to turn out to be. So I hope that helps. Comment, like, and subscribe. Let me know how I'm doing and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye. <laughs>